Hi, Hiram here. For some time now, there's been a big interest as to which is better, heat or denatured alcohol for using in the alcohol stoves. In my case, uh, I go through a lot of alcohol. I mean a lot. So I end up buying the gallon cans of this LXF, L, yeah, sorry, SLX denatured alcohol. I buy so much of it that people think that I'm running some sort of a paint shop or something. But anyway, when I buy this, uh, it costs me fifteen twenty nine for this gallon can. So that comes out to eleven point nine cents for an ounce. This heat bottle cost me a dollar forty six. I'm not sure how much it is now, but uh, that comes out to twelve point one cents. So there's really hardly any difference as far as price. When you look at the two things, SLX is denatured alcohol, which is a combination of ethyl alcohol and methanol added. Heat is just mostly methanol, which makes it poisonous to drink, and that's why they add it to this. If the methanol wasn't in this, you could probably drink it, but don't do it. Let's see, what else? Not going to go into a lot of scientific mumbo jumbo here, but about the extent is. The boiling point for heat is 148 degrees Fahrenheit. The boiling point for SLX is 147. So that means this is like about the same, one, one degree off from each other. So what I'm going to do today is a two-part test, not real scientific. First you get the alcohol and stuff away from the test area. I'm going to use my uh, LSCS, the little soda can stove, the one that I've just done, the one with 16 holes. I want to get more tests under the belt. I've already used this five times, so this will make two more. Let's try it first with the denatured alcohol. I have one fluid ounce of alcohol there. Now what I'm going to do is a little bit different here than in the other tests that I've done. I'm going to start the timer as soon as I light the alcohol, I'm going to let it burn for a minute and then start the test. That way I can get them both pretty close to the same times. So we just go for 30 seconds here. What I have is two cups of water setting at 59 degrees. So on the next test I'll try to get them both that one to the same temperature. Okay, we got 20 seconds. <laughs> okay. Two cups of water starting at 59, and let's see where this goes. There we have 210 to 11. To 12 at 5:38. Okay, let's see how long it goes to run out. Okay, and there we have run out at let's say 9:45. Run out at 9.45. So what I'll do now is let this stuff all cool off, and I'll rerun the test using the heat. I'll be right back. There we have 210, 211, 
to 12 at 605. That's boiling in 6 minutes 5 seconds. And let's see how long it takes to run out. And there we have run out going going let's say 935 okay let me do some number crunching here and I'll re be right back with the totals hi hi I'm here I'm back okay let's have a little recap on this the heat which is a gas line antifreeze it's a methyl alcohol also known as methanol wood alcohol methyl hydrate camp stove fuel and gas line antifreeze has a boiling temperature of 148 degrees Fahrenheit. The SLX alcohol, denatured alcohol, is ethanol with methanol, the same stuff that this is made out of. That's what the denaturing agent is, so that you can't drink this. They add some of this stuff into it. Uh, let's see. The test boiled down to, on this one, the boil time was 5 minutes and 38 seconds. Subtract the 38 seconds that I gave the uh, stove to come to a full heat. Makes that boil time of 5 minutes 8 seconds. When I ran my last video on this one, it had a time to boil of 5 minutes 56 seconds. I've run 7 tests on this so far, and each one of them in the alcohol came to within plus or minus five seconds. The runout time for the SLX was nine minutes forty five seconds, subtract the thirty seconds is nine fifteen. On the heat, the boil time was six minutes five seconds, subtract the thirty seconds is five minutes thirty five seconds to get to boil. Just a little bit slower than this in this test. The runout time was 9 minutes 35 seconds, subtract 30 seconds, comes out to 9.05. So I don't know, there's not a whole lot of difference in my mind between the two of these. Uh, if I bought the same amount of this as I do this, all the stores in the area would probably be happy because I'd end up emptying out their stores. Like with all these tests and stuff I do. I go through a lot of this stuff, like a, a gallon or so a month, if not more. Uh, this works out to, what did I say, 12.9 cents per ounce, and this works out to 12.1 cents per ounce. Not much difference there, just a volume thing. Although this does have a nicer container, I end up having to pour this out into other containers to use. I can't actually use it right out of this. So, I don't know what to really say about that except in my mind there's not a whole lot of difference between the two of them. In this test the heat was a little bit slower. The other thing I should add is the temperature today here is 78 degrees with 80 percent humidity and it's raining cats and dogs outside. So if you looked on the set number two camera where I was showing the flames you probably saw some humidity uh, water condens condensing and dripping off of the pot so I thank you for watching this video I hope this answers people's questions or at least gives an indication I look forward to your input your questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always Watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend, and that's in the thick and thin.